air. Introduction Air is a mixture of many gases that make up the Earth's atmosphere. It has mass, occupies space, exerts pressure and supports burning. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases, water vapour and dust particles are present in the air. Oxygen gas is an important component of air. Human beings and animals breathe air. The oxygen gas absorbed in respiration system burns the food in body cells and thus energy is produced. This energy helps your body to do multiple tasks. You cannot live without air. Air cannot be seen or tasted. It can only be felt. Composition of air As you know that air exists in gaseous state. Till 18th century, people assumed air just one substance. After many experiments, it is proved that it is not so. Air is a mixture of many gases. Some of the major components of air are Nitrogen Nitrogen gas is one of the major component of air. Nearly 78% of the air by volume is nitrogen gas. This is an inert gas. This gas does not support burning. Plants need nitrogen as a mineral for their growth, but they do not take it directly from the air. The nitrogen present in the soil is absorbed with water by the plant roots. Oxygen Oxygen gas is one of the most essential component of air in the atmosphere. It covers nearly 21% of the air by volume. It is absorbed by the living beings through the respiration system which supports burning of food in human cells. It supports burning. Plants release oxygen in the surrounding during photosynthesis process. Take a candle and place it on the table. Light the candle with matte stick. Let it burn for a few seconds. You can see that it burns continuously. Now, cover the candle with a transparent glass. The flame of the candle goes off slowly. That means the oxygen in the air supports burning. Nothing can be burnt without air. Carbon dioxide Nearly 0.03% of the air by volume is carbon dioxide. This gas is absorbed by plants during photosynthesis. Human beings and animals absorb oxygen gas from atmosphere and release carbon dioxide during respiration. This gas is very harmful for all living beings. Burnings of coal, wood, fossil fuels, plastic etc. produce carbon dioxide gas. This gas pollutes our environment and also depletes the ozone layer. You may feel carbon dioxide gas effect when you stand in a closed room where some material is burning. You feel suffocation. This is due to excess of carbon dioxide accumulating in the room as the burning continues. Water vapour Air in the atmosphere is not dry. Small amount of water vapour is present in it. You may see that when air comes in contact with a cool surface, it condenses into drops of water that appear on the cooled surface. In summer, the amount of water vapour in the air is more. While in winters, this water vapour condenses due to low atmospheric temperature. The condensed water sits on the dust particles and seems as fog. Dust and smoke Burning of any material as well as fuel produces smoke. The smoke contains a few gases and dust particles. These mix into the air and pollute it. That's why the industries and factories in the cities are established away from the cities. The factories produce smoke through chimneys that directly mixes into the air out of the city. 
Thus, the air inside the city is not polluted and people inhale fresh air. Inhalation of dust and smoke particles with air in the human body causes lots of diseases and also harm our immune system. Properties of Air Air has some specific properties or characteristics. Air has mass, air occupies space, air exerts pressure, air can be compressed, air expands on heating. Air has mass. As you know, air is a mixture of many gases. Each gas has particular molecules of gas. Molecules are made up of atoms. Electrons, protons and neutrons, particles are present in each atom. The mass of these particles constitute that air has mass. Let us perform an activity to illustrate that air has mass. We can perform an activity to know whether air contains smoke or dust particles. Aim to prove that air always contains dust or smoke particles. Materials required an electric torch. Methods Choose a room in your house such that no light from outside enters into the room. Close all the doors and windows completely. Stand in the corner of this dark room and switch on the electric torch. You see the tiny and very small dust particles shining in the beam of light. These particles move continuously. Thus, you can say that air always contains dust or smoke particles. Take two balloons. Balance them on a stick. Inflate one of the balloon. We observe that the stick tilts to the side of the inflated balloon. Air occupies space. From the balloon activity, we observe that a balloon covers very small volume when it is not inflated. But when you blow air in it, it expands and occupies more space. This means the air occupies space or volume. Air exerts pressure. From the balloon activity, we can know that if you blow more and more air into the balloon, it bursts. This is because the air exerts pressure. The molecules of the air continually collide with each other and hit the surface of the balloon. When these molecules hit, they exert small force on the surface. The sum of all these forces results into the pressure exerted by the gas on the balloon. On blowing the air continually, the pressure increases and the balloon bursts. Air can be compressed. The molecules of the air are free to move. They do not have fixed volume and shape. Air can be compressed, that is, the pressure of air can be increased by pressing it into a container. You see LPG cylinder, car tires, inflated balloon, etc. In all these equipments, the compressed air is stored. Air expands on heating. The kinetic energy of air molecules increases with increase in temperature or on heating. When you increase the gas temperature, the molecules move very fast into the container in which air is filled. You may see the inflated balloon expands while placing in the sunlight for some time. Air pollution The inclusion of dust particles, smoke, harmful gases such as carbon dioxide, Carbon monoxide into the atmospheric air degrade the quality of air. This phenomenon is called air pollution. It makes the air impure and harmful for all living organisms and plants. All the matter that makes the air polluted is called pollutants. These pollutants originate from the burning of fossil fuels such as smoke coming out from the bikes, cars, trucks, chimneys in the industries and factories, etc. The smoke includes carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulphur and other harmful exhaust gases. As you know that oxygen is the most important component in air to breathe in living beings and animals. The amount of oxygen in air relatively reduces due to air pollution which affects our respiration system. This may lead to several diseases and sometimes causes to death. Apart from this, air pollution also causes ozone layer depletion. The increase in carbon dioxide into the atmosphere leads to greenhouse effect which increases the Earth's surface temperature. The major sources of air pollution on the Earth are the automobiles, industries, 
factories, burning of waste materials. Prevention All the causes of air pollution are indirectly caused by the human beings. That means the prevention and control over air pollution is in our hands. There are many ways of preventing and controlling air pollution. Petroleum products such as petrol, diesel, kerosene etc. and all fossil fuels must be replaced by biofuels that are eco-friendly and pollution-less. Burning of waste materials must be avoided. Industrialization should be reduced to a certain extent such that it may not affect technology system. Uses of motor vehicles for short distance should be avoided. Promote afforestation and plantation in your surrounding to make the air pure. Oxygen cycle Atmospheric air consists of 21% oxygen gas by volume. This oxygen provides a medium in a cyclic relationship between plants and human beings. The circulation of oxygen in various forms through nature is called oxygen cycle. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere during photosynthesis process and produce starch, food, water and oxygen in this process. The oxygen gas is released into the atmosphere and absorbed by the humans and animals in the respiration process. Carbon dioxide is produced in the respiration process and released into the atmosphere by the humans and animals. Thus, the oxygen into the atmosphere circulates through different natural forms. The major factor of disbalancing oxygen cycle is deforestation.